Nadia, a typical rural bordering district of West Bengal, started its journey towards outdoor defecation-free status in the year 2013, when about 40% of the people would defecate in the open in the district, and about 33% people were living without any access to toilet. On the other hand, just across the border, Bangladesh, which was once part of undivided Bengal, had only 4% of her people defecating in the open. Recognizing the shame, District Administration of Nadia took note of the situation and made a vow to eliminate the malpractice of open defecation from the district and launched a program called Shobar Shochakar or Toilet for All. On 2nd of October 2013, by converging three national flagship programs, that is, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, Nirmal Bharat Abhiyan, and National Rural Livelihood Mission. The target was to make the district ODF by 31st March 2015. Involvement of school students was a major step towards the achievement of outdoor defecation-free status. In all the educational institutions of the district, right from universities and colleges to the primary schools, all students started taking pledge on every Monday not to defecate in the open and only use sanitary toilets both at home and when outside. Sensitization of women was also a key factor in the movement. Awareness through village level meeting, workshops and involvement of self-help groups for home contact drive through interpersonal communication towards stopping open defecation were done. All this resulted in achievement of primary target, that is, construction and usage of more than 1 lakh new IHHLs by 30th January 2014. And this emboldened the district leadership to take the final plunge towards outdoor defecation-free district on October 2014. Launching of Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen on 2nd October 2014 also facilitated the movement as funding and construction became much hassle-free and much easier. Nadia district identified, trained and nurtured women SHG groups to set up rural sanitary marts and execute the program in actual circumstances. 47 SHG groups worked as rural sanitary marts during the mission throughout the district. Strategic partnerships were also made with faith-based organizations to promote sense of pride for collective behavior change of the community. Use of innovative behavior change communication strategies has brought in the desired behavioral change to eliminate open defecation. Various steps taken to execute the strategies were door-to-door -door visit by ASHA and AWW workers, massive banner and poster campaign, faith rally on 13th December 2014, mini marathon, 1st January 2015 122.3 km long human chain on 21st February 2015 2.17 lakh people participated for open defecation free Nodia which is a record for the purpose of monitoring regular review meetings were held at all levels including GP block and district to assess the program implementation quality of construction and pattern of behavioral change. During this tenure, the district administration was able to provide 3,55,609 toilets, including 12,220 urban household latrines with near 100% usage as found in the final survey conducted by UNICEF. Besides, District administration was also able to provide 100% access of sanitary toilets to all the schools, ICDS centers and all other fringe areas of the district. Finally, Honorable Chief Minister West Bengal, Srimati Mamta Banerjee declared Nadia as the first open defecation-free district in India on 30th April 2015. Nadia district was honored with the first place winner for 2015 United Nations Public Service Award in the category of Improving the Delivery of Public Services and other several awards to maintain the sustainability of ODF district and to achieve the status of ODF society, various initiatives has been taken by the district. For sustainability purpose, para Nojodari committees or local vigilance committees are already formed in all the areas. BCC activities for awareness generation, 
enactment of legal provisions like Gram Panchayats passed bylaws preventing open defecation in their respective jurisdiction. Thus, in just one and a half years' time, the district covered over 100% families and aims to ensure 100% saturation by April 2015. A positive and enabling environment has encouraged and motivated the stakeholders for effective service delivery and people at large have become aware and started realizing that a new social norm towards stopping open defecation is doable and has to be ensured.